You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a good friend of mine who we went to high school together, Marite yes. Bizenkowskis. Nice to see you, Marite. Nice to see you I, again, I Mark. I'm going to give you a hug, but we're all wired. Yes, okay. we are wired. Now, very exciting. Brockton is celebrating 100 years of Lithuanian independence. Yes. Maybe. So Lithuania is celebrating the 100 years of independence. But our Brocktonians in the whole, you have yes. a big conference here, a convention here. <laughs> and in a big event. And I remember all the way, way back in high school, uh -huh. we always talked about it. Now at that point in time, when you and I were there, it, it wasn't independent at that point in time. No, it was not. It was a sad not. time for Lithuania. Yes. But Brockton has always had a strong Lithuanian presence by the number of people that lived here, former Mayor David Crosby, who was mayor when we were in high school. Sure. He was the most famous Lithuanian in Brockton. Although sure. maybe you are, I don't ah, know. I don't know. Thank you. I don't know, but uh, you've done a lot of good and you, you're still connected here to the community. Absolutely. Your mother is here. Yes, she is. Um, and tell us about this wonderful event. Well, Bro Lithuanians have been in Brockton since the 1890s and uh, St. Casimir Parish was established around 1898. Mm -hmm. And so from there was the roots of beginnings of that Lithuanian community and the Lithuanian village. And that's when people were actually leaving um, the Russian Tsar. They were running away from Russia. They right. were under Tsarist occupation. Gee, everything's old as new again. Huh? Isn't it you know something I mean? like that? Okay. Yeah, so they came to the United States. and. Um, then after World War I, or right around World War I, they stopped immigration from Russia to the United States. So a lot of people had, like in my case, my great-grandmother left a child behind, brought one child to the United States, they closed the border, didn't allow them, and then after 1918, when they opened up the borders again, then they were able to finish the immigration. So um, my great-grandmother left a young girl behind, and saw a young woman mm -hmm. next time they were able to, to meet. But that was uh, n not uncommon. But all of those people working in uh, factories built those parishes, built beautiful homes, built beautiful communities, bakeries, uh, and then had I, a nice... I miss those bakeries, let me tell you. Yeah, and, they were wonderful. And, and um, I was fortunate enough to be involved in covering some of the last concerts that, yes. were there, that you were involved in over there. This is just in a different location. This Where is, is it going to be held? This time it's at the Hilton Dedham. Okay. And the reason is, is Brockton no longer has a full service hotel. Yep. And so part of our Knights of Lithuania, this is our 105th national convention. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine, the Knights of Lithuania organization is actually older than the Republic of Lithuania, mm. if you think about that. Um, the Knights of Lithuania, though, was established here in the United States simply because the people who were coming here were afraid that their children would lose their language and their culture, and they really wanted to help preserve that mm -hmm. while in the United States because they were always hopeful that one day they would be able to return to Lithuania, and if they did, they wanted to make sure their children would be able to pick up life in Lithuania. As it were, so that's how those organizations were started as youth organizations. Well, and I know you've all, always been involved um, in all of this. Um, I love those concerts that you did. I'm glad I'm getting to do another one. Uh, I thought it was all done when St. Casimir's closed. And yes. I know that most of the Lithuanians that have left have gone, a lot of them have gone over to St. Michael's and yes, Avon. Yes, Because I've covered that event that yes. you do every year. I get to eat all the food, yes. which is fun. And <laughs> the instrument last year. What is that it's instrument called? It's called a conkless. Okay, and a I conkless. got to cover that. That was fun. Yeah. Okay, I always have, for whatever reason, that day always ends up being a scheduling challenge, but John Drusinskis always lures me over there. Uh, he, well, he always I, finds a way to get me over there, and I enjoy it. It's well, I'm so fun. glad, Mark, that you make the effort to come. But let me tell you, for this particular concert, mm -hmm. it's going to be something extra spectacular. If okay. you thought the other ones were wonderful, this one's super spectacular. For several reasons. A, because it's 100 years of Lithuanian independence, I had um, the brilliant idea, Jesus. I thought, to have what I'm calling 100 years of Lithuanian music. Mm -hmm. And actually, it, it, it spans more than 100 years, but that's the idea. So I have um, 
a gentleman, by the, and everybody performing is Lithuanian or uh, American Lithuanian or sure. from Lithuania. And uh, this one gentleman, he plays a Renaissance lute. Okay, most people have not heard a lute. Mm -hmm. So he's going to bring a lute and a guitar. He's a classical guitarist. And during the time of Sigimund in Lithuania in the 1600s, okay. there was a famous lutenist who played for him. And he so enjoyed playing for the Lithuanian royalty that he remained there. And so some of the music Jonas Koblitskas will play with his lute was actually played in Lithuania wow. at that time. So that's our old stuff. Then we'll have music from like my great grandparents' time, you know, the 1800s, the real folk style with folk instruments and, and folk singing. So there's a wonderful group called Sodauto Ensembles and uh, they're, they had sort of more or less disbanded and I told them what I was hoping to do and they said, well, of course. Of course, we'll participate. So you'll have an opportunity to hear real folk song, really folk music. And then by popular demand, people have asked if my friend Edvinas Minkštemas can come back and play the piano. Mm -hmm. Edvinas Minkštemas had played for several of our Lithuanian Children's Relief concerts in the past. He has his doctorate in piano performance from Juilliard School of Music. He's the head of piano faculty at the Washington Conservatory. And when I called him and I s told him what I wanted to do, he thought it was going to be impossible. I said, come on, can you make it happen? And he said, yes, for you, Marita, I'll do anything. So he's coming up from Washington, D.C. So he'll be playing um, wonderful compositions by one of our famous composers, Chudlionis, piano compositions. On top of that, he has written a special song for this event. So he's taken um, a Dvoronyas folk melody, made it into duet, made 10 variations of it. And my friend Dunute and I will be singing it and it will be the premiere performance of that piece of music. You beat me to what I was gonna ask you if you were gonna sing. I am going to sing. Which will be sing. a treat because we all know about your training and I Thank you. sing all the way back in high school. Thank you. Um, they gave me the two-minute cue, oh, so my. I want to make sure we do the the who, what, when, where, of why, and how, the, the, how to get tickets, um, the cost, and any email or Facebook sure. information. Absolutely. So tickets are $35 in advance, mm -hmm. uh, $45 at the door. You can pay for them via credit card. So if you would call my co-chair, Susan Troutman, I'll give you her telephone number. Yeah. Right here, yeah. hidden on my green paper, 774 Four five one zero two six two, and that's Friday, August third. Cocktails and hors d'oeuvres at six o'clock, and the hors d'oeuvres are absolutely delicious. Past hors d'oeuvres, it'll be gloriously elegant. Okay. And then concert starts precisely at seven. Perfect. And uh, we're gonna be there, but you have to go. It's not the same to see it on cable TV. No, it okay, is not. Okay, we're going to give you highlights. We're, we're, we want you to go. We want you to support the cause. And you've put a lot of work into this. And I know John's been on your committee and, and other folks here in, in, in the city of Champions. So yes, absolutely. Looking forward to it. And Thank it's on you. my calendar, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Okay, you too. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champions.